Hey everybody, it's Maggie from This or That, and today I am finally gonna pack my away luggage for you. I know I have talked on and on about this. I talked about it in the full like brand rundown of away luggage, and I talked about it recently in my monthly favorites, but I thought that it would actually be nice for you to see exactly the power behind this luggage and why I am so obsessed with it. I thought that this would be a really good time to film it because I packed it for six days, and it's the smallest carry-on size that I packed for six days to go to Denver. I actually flew up the weekend before to visit a friend and then I had to work for six days. I'm talking I had to bring multiple pairs of shoes for the different activities that I did. Plus, you know, all the toiletries for six days. It's Denver, so it was actually really cold. When I flew in, there was snow on the ground. So I was packing for a variety of weathers, weathers and for a long period of time. So I think that it really goes to show how great this suitcase is. Granted, it was a little heavy, I'm not gonna deny it, but the suitcase itself is not. It's only because I actually packed it full to the brim. So let's hop into this packing video. Okay, so all of this is somehow going to end up in this. And so are those shoes. So let's see if we can actually make that happen. I have a hunch that it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be pretty tight and I think that I'm gonna have to put anything extra like books or technology or anything that I'm bringing along with me definitely in my work backpack, but let's see what we can do. Okay, how this suitcase is designed is that they say this side should be anything that is squishy. So I assume that you're supposed to put your clothes on this side because this actually unbuckles. This flap flips over this way and then you put everything here. The battery pack that holds the charging like that goes to the charging port is located here. And as you can see, it takes up this teeny tiny amount of space. So not a big deal at all, but again, you're not gonna wanna put something hard that can't bend on top of it. I typically like to put all my clothes here. I'm packing again for six days. I'm flying to Denver on a Saturday and returning on a Thursday. In that time, I'm gonna be going to work. I'm also visiting a friend. We're gonna go hiking. We're gonna do lots of Denver-y, Colorado-y, outdoorsy things. So I've got a pack for a variety of weather and for a variety of activities. The first thing that I did is went through and picked out all the shirts that I'm going to wear and any of the necessary like tank tops or anything I have to wear underneath. And I did my best to pick things that were springy enough to continue to wear into May, but also long sleeves and warm enough because it's gonna be in like the 40s and the 50s, which is really unfortunate. So shirts are all right here. Right now, the weather is saying no rain, but when I'm traveling, I like to be prepared. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my rain jacket and then also a sweater because it's gonna be pretty chilly. So on days when I don't wanna wear a heavy jacket, I am going to wear this. Rain jacket and sweater are tucked down in here. I have a pretty casual work environment, so I'm actually able to wear jeans every single day. Because it's colder, I thought I could get away with wearing black jeans. So I'm including those here. And then two pair of blue jeans, one dark wash, one light wash to switch between the entire time. I always like to pack clothes and then put my pajamas on top because typically when you travel, you're wearing the clothes you're gonna wear for day one and then you're gonna have pajama time. So those are gonna go on top of here. Okay, so I've got tops, pajamas, bottoms, jackets, and sweaters. I actually have one more sweater that I'm gonna bring but I think I'm gonna wear that on the plane. So then you just pop this over and this, tightens everything and squishes it down. On this side, they recommend things that are breakable or things that shouldn't bend or have a lot of pressure. I'm always gonna bring this with me. This is what actually charges the suitcase. It works just like a phone charger. As you can see, it's like a USB port, but it has a special like input device into the charger. So on this side is where I'm gonna keep all of my toiletries, makeup, and everything like that. So you've seen me pack this before in my packing video. This is just my little travel thing from Target. It has brushes, makeup, and all my toiletries here. So that I typically squish down in this side. Then here is my handy dandy little jewelry travel holder. It opens up like this and you have all the different compartments, different sizes and everything to pack your jewelry. And then it just elastic shut, which I think is really nice. These are all of the sort of get ready bathroom things that I'll need. So this is my face washer that I've also mentioned in that travel packing video before. Toothbrush, curling iron, this little hair clip thing that can go here and a hairbrush 
I'm going to do my best to fit the shoes over on this side. I think I'll definitely include these shoes in my suitcase because they're the biggest, but because I'm bringing my work backpack as well, I think that I can probably either squeeze these flats in this suitcase or put these in my backpack with my computers because I actually have a lot of ample space in my backpack. So we'll see what we can do. I always like to put my shoes in a plastic bag of some sort so that I don't get like the germy soles and whatever I've been walking on on all the things in my suitcase. I think we're swimming in room. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my suitcase as well because they're also bulky. Let's see if we can tuck it here. All right, so for whatever reason, the first time that I filmed this, I had this entire situation where I was packing this and it got lost. So instead of me packing it because I'm already back from my trip and as you can tell, the suitcase is totally empty, I'm just gonna let you know that this is what I typically use for undergarments, any sort of intimates, just like small, very squishable, packable things. Since this is sort of your mechanism to squish down this side of your suitcase, and this part right here actually folds on top. So this is the perfect spot for your swimsuits or anything squishy. Other people, because this does not have an outside pocket of any kind, it's actually just the hard outer shell. Some people use this as their quick area to grab things like books or magazines that they might wanna use on the plane. Additionally, this comes with a little key that actually goes to the battery pack in case TSA has an issue. They provide a screwdriver that allows you to unzip this compartment here and unscrew the battery and take it out and show them that it's not anything dangerous. So that's what goes here. And another feature that got cut out in that clip that somehow got lost is right here. And this is, let me move this up so you can see. This is a laundry bag that comes in the suitcase. So you open this up and out rolls this laundry bag and it pins in, you can actually unclip it. So this is what I use to put all of my dirty clothes in when I'm on the trip. Anyway, this is a really handy dandy feature. Also, this can be tossed in the washing machine if it starts to smell like yucky clothes or something. And this is very easily folded back up and rolled down to fit nicely back in this pocket. You could also use this as your shoe bag. So maybe you don't want to bring a whole bunch of plastic bags or maybe you don't have any lying around because you typically get paper bags. You can use this to put your shoes in so it doesn't get all over everything in place of those plastic bags that I suggested earlier. So I hope that you could see the power of this away luggage and that even the small size could fit enough for a six day trip. I really did use most of what was in the suitcase. I think that maybe my rain jacket and one shirt went unused, but everything else I truly, you know, used the entire time I was there. But anyway, if this is something that appeals to you and you want to purchase your very own away luggage, I actually have a link down below that can get you $20 off your away luggage purchase. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about this luggage and not just the packing power, the specs, the size, the cool smart luggage features that it has to offer, then I suggest you hop on over to my away luggage brand rundown video that gives you all the information that you'll need to know. And if you like this video, then please like it and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.